All right, we're solving problem 1.32. Check the fundamental theorem for gradients. Uh, the function is given and uh, it's from the origin to point 111, but there are different ways we can get there. I'm gonna do part A. Part B is pretty similar. And part C is interesting because it gives us a parabolic path. All right, I'll do part A and part C. All right, for part A, so we will verify fundamental theorem for gradients. So what we have is um, integrate point A to B. Then I have gradient of the function dot DL, right? And that should give you uh, this difference of the endpoints, right? So um, for part A, let's calculate TB, which is T of uh, point one one one, right? Uh, so if you replace them one square plus four times one times one plus two times one times one cube, okay? That's gonna give you four plus one, five plus two, seven. Zero, zero, zero is obviously zero, okay? So the difference, T of one, one, one minus T of zero, zero, zero is seven. So that's the right-hand side. The left-hand side, I need to first calculate the gradient and then use this path in part A. So let's do that, gradient of this function T. Well, first I gotta take the derivative with respect to X. Well, that's two X plus four Y, nothing will come from this. So it's going to be two X plus four Y X hat plus take the derivative with respect to Y, nothing comes from this, four X plus two Z cube. And that's the y hat comp y component. And then take the derivative with respect to z, that's only the last term, 3z squared times 2y, that's like 6yz squared. And that's z hat. So that's my gradient of the function. So now, uh, let me quickly draw what we have here in part a. This is x, this is y, this is z from zero, zero, zero to one, zero, zero. So that's where I'm gonna go first. And then to one, one, zero, which is here, go here. And then to one, 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 which I will go up here. So that's my end point, one, one, one. Okay, so now we have three segments. The first segment is 0, 0, 0, 2, 1, 0, 0. That's a long positive x-axis. So dl will be dx x hat. Now, if you take a dot product of the gradient of the function, you care about only the x component. So gradient of t dot dl for the first one would be 2x plus 4y um, dx. Now, here, x, uh, y equals zero, right? X varies from, um, x varies from zero to one, y equals zero, z equals zero. So since we, y equals zero, this simplifies a little bit. So my integral zero, zero, zero to one, zero, zero um, becomes, 2x dx only, right? 0 to 1, 2x dx. So it's 2 times x squared over 2 evaluated at 0, 1. Uh, that's going to be just 1. OK, that's the first segment. Now we're going to repeat that for the other segments. So now we have. Um, the second segment, which is one zero zero to one one zero. Um, now, dl 
for this segment is parallel to a positive y direction. So it's in the positive y direction. So we get dy y hat. Y varies zero to one. X is constant at one, right? And Z is zero. Now, when I take the dot product, okay, gradient of T, only Y component, 4X plus 2Z cubed. Now, while Z is zero, X is one, 4Y hat dot this. So I'm going to get just 4DY. So if I integrate, then y equals 0 to 1 for dy, I'll just get 4. OK. So that's the next one. Now the last one is 110 to 111, which is parallel to z-axis. Right now I'm going up to 111 parallel to the z axis. So DL for the third segment will be DZ Z hat. And for that one, uh, X and Y are constant and they're equal to each other at one. And Z varies zero to one. So when we did the dot product, the gradient of T times DL, well, we need to only look at the um, z component, y equals one, so six z squared dz. So our integration would be z equals zero to one, six z squared dz, six z cubed over three, and evaluated at zero to one, so that's one third, that's gonna give me two. So now I'm gonna add all those together, right? So the first one was one and then four and then three. So one uh, and then two, one plus four plus two, that's going to be seven. Remember when we uh, looked at the right-hand side of the equation, we already got seven. So it's verified. Now, this is not the only path you can take. There's an alternate path. And that's the parabolic path, OK? So that's part C of the problem, OK? You still go to the same point, right? Right here, OK? But you go through a parabolic path, and this path is defined by x equals um, y, and then z equals x squared, all right? So that's the parabolic path. And <clears throat> now, what is dl here? That's the question, right? Um, now, in general, dl is related to dx x hat plus dy y hat and dz z hat in Cartesian coordinates. And now what is dx dy dz? Well, I know their relationship. So I think I can really simplify this equation tremendously. Um, so uh, I, I just need to take the differential of the sides. I mean, dx then is equal to dy. So I will just replace dy with dx. On the other hand, dz is 2x dx, right? So that's what I'm going to replace here. So what I will find then as dl is um, dx x hat plus dy y hat plus 2 or oh, dx y hat because they're equal. I'm going to just write all of them as uh, in terms of x plus 2x dx z hat. Now I can take the dot product of gradient of t, which is this, with my dl here. Now I have a bunch of terms here. Um, well, from the original point to the final point, x varies 0 to 1. So it will be just an x integral. Uh, so in terms of y, I'm going to replace uh, x everywhere. Uh, so I have 2x plus 4x x hat. And then 4x plus 
in terms of uh, z, I'm going to put x squared. So I have already z cubed to x squared cubed y hat plus 6y. And again, instead of y, I'm going to put x. They're equal. Instead of z, I'm going to put x squared and another squared z hat. OK, now that's my uh, gradient of t. And then I will dot with uh, dl. So gradient of t dot dl. So I have 6x dx, right? All of them will bring dx. That's common. Let's, let's write it out. So this is x squared cubed x to the uh, 6, 2x to the 6 plus 4x um, dx. And then finally, I have 2x and 6x, so that's 12x squared. And then I have uh, x to the fourth here. So that's going to bring me 12x to the six dx. All right, so let's add them up, get our um, polynomial here 12x to the sixth power, 2x to the sixth power. So I have 14x to the sixth power. And I have 4x plus 6x, that's like 10x dx. All right, let's take the integral. 0 to 1, 14x to the 6 plus 10x uh, dx. That's going to be 14x to the 7 over 7 plus 10x squared over 2 all evaluated at zero and one. All right, if you put in one, so you're gonna get 14 over seven plus 10 over two. This is two, this is five, and it gives you seven again. All right, that's the solution for the problem 1.32. I hope you enjoyed the solution.